Hello and welcome to another ASA Pro Adobe Premiere Tip of the Month. My name is Steve and this month we want to talk about growing file support. Um, and what growing file support is a way that you can import a video clip inside of Adobe Premiere that is still being recorded. And a really good use case for this is in news with quick turnaround times or you know an emergency edit that can't wait until the end of the show sending out you know a, a clip to broadcast before the show is ended or you can't you know press stop record at a specific time growing file support is a great way to get around that and one way you can do that is within TriCaster. So what I have up here is TriCaster Mini Multi Viewer. And what I'm doing right now is I'm recording the video clip that you're currently watching me on, but I'm also recording isol an isolated file of the Multi Viewer itself. And the reason I'm doing that is in the top right, there's an important time code bar that will show you the time code, which currently right now reads 12, 30, 31. So 12 hours, 30 minutes, and 35 seconds and counting. And what I want to be able to do is take the file that's currently being recorded and send it to another computer over the network to be able to edit with it immediately. So actually what I do have up here is the recording path currently recording. I can still come in here to configure it. And in Mix 3, I have just the TriCaster or the multi-viewer that you're currently seeing. And what I'm doing is sending that to a network attached storage that I have mounted via SMB. And so what you can basically do doing this kind of, you know, workflow is set the file path to be recorded there. And then all I really have to do now is let that file be recorded and have the editor bring that same file in. So actually, if I go to another computer with Adobe Premiere open, this is just my Mac Pro. And I think what would be easiest to show you is if I just went to that same um, folder location where I'm recording it. And if I import that file, what you'll see in the actual file name is that it's in italics. And it, what is happening in italics is that means it's still being modified, it's still being you know, recorded. So the, the italics is signifying to you what it's doing. So back in Adobe Premiere, you can see that if I go to the end of the clip that I imported, and I have it set to every 15 seconds is when the clip will update. So that you'll see, I won't even touch anything. What you're seeing is that the playhead is actually moving backwards because the file continues to grow. And so in approximately you know 10 more seconds, the file will elongate again. So you'll see that the duration is 848.12. You'll see that it just jumped to 9318. Under the Adobe Premiere Preferences, under Media is where you can actually find the growing file support settings. Uh, the default refresh rate is 60 seconds. I changed mine to 15 to be a little bit faster to make sure that the file updates more frequently. And then this is where you can also turn on and off the automatic refresh rate as well. So if you're interested in learning more about growing file support or you think it would be a great benefit to see it in your video production workflow, make sure to get in touch with ASA Pro today, asapro-line.com. Thanks for watching.